Hi, my name is Adrian. Welcome to this practical training video. Today we will talk about the portable microbiological water laboratory from Let's Test. With it you can determine how many fecal indicator bacteria are present in a water sample. Water testing begins with proper sampling. Bring the following items to the sampling site for microbiological analysis. Ethanol 70% and paper towel or absorbent cotton to disinfect hands and parts. Ready to use and sterile sampling bags containing a tablet of thiosulfate to remove possible chlorine residue. If you want to use reusable sampling bottles instead, read the standard to know how to handle the bottles before taking them for sampling. A waterproof pen to label the sampling bag. Bring the water sampler if the water needs to be scooped at the sampling site, for example from a water tank. If possible, but not mandatory, bring a portable Bunsen burner to disinfect parts. Bring sterile water that you know does not contain bacteria to control the quality of your sampling technique. Bring an ice box if you are not testing the samples immediately to chill them on the way back to your water laboratory. Here's a tip. You can use the empty electricity-free incubator, add cold packs and use it as an ice box. When taking water samples from wells with a metal withdrawal fitting or from main distribution tabs, proceed as follows. Label the sample bag with a waterproof pen and indicate the ID date and time of sampling. Then wipe the end piece with alcohol. If possible, sterilize it with a Bunsen burner. If the fitting cannot tolerate heat or a portable Bunsen burner is not available, Wait 3 minutes for the alcohol to react and evaporate. Run the water at full power for 20 seconds. Reduce the water flow, disinfect your hands and open the sample bag carefully. Fill it with a little more than 100 ml. Then pull the wire ends, whirl the bag completely 3 times and turn the tape wire inward on the opposite side of the fold. Check that the sample bag does not open again when pressed. When sampling at locations where the sample must be scooped, proceed as follows. Label the sample bag with ID, date and time using a waterproof pen. Then wipe the critical part of the liquid sampler with alcohol. If possible, sterilize it with a Bunsen burner or wait 3 minutes for the alcohol to react and evaporate. Take the sample. Submerge the end piece completely below the water surface. A second person now disinfects his her hands and opens the sample bag. Fill it slightly over 100 ml, then pull the wire ends, whirl the bag completely three times and turn the tape wire inward on the opposite side of the fold. For quality control we suggest you collect sterile water in the field using the same procedure, called the field blank. This sample will also be tested and must have zero bacteria. If it does not, your sampling technique must be improved and your results are not valid. Now transport the samples to a central testing location. Keep them cool and test them within 18 hours. Once the water samples have arrived at a central location for testing, set up the work area. Use a portable lab bench if you do not have a flat and easily sterilized work surface. Disinfect your hands and the work surface with alcohol. Then set up the test equipment. Now fill the laboratory candle with alcohol and light it. And pour a little alcohol into the alcohol beaker. Now sterilize the water cup and fill it with sterile water. As a first step the tester can now label and then activate the dry chromogenic media plate. 
Label it with the information from the corresponding sample bag but indicate the date and time of testing. Now use the 1 ml stainless steel spoon to activate the plate with 1 ml of sterile water. The next step is to sterilize the two critical parts of the membrane filtration unit and then filter 100 ml of the first water sample through a paper membrane to collect all bacteria from the water sample on the surface of the membrane. The paper membrane is then transferred to the activated chromogenic media plate. As the last step, you suck out the excess water from the porous filter support. This will facilitate the next sterilization. You empty the base part and you continue with the next sample. For quality control next to the field blank, we suggest you test also sterile laboratory water, called the laboratory blank. Test it in between your samples. It must show zero bacteria. If it does not, you are facing cross-contamination in between samples and your results are not valid. Your sterilization procedure in between samples must be improved. Another tip. If the sampling site is next to the testing site, you can transfer your sample from the liquid sampler directly to the membrane filtration unit. This way you save a sampling bag. After membrane filtration, incubate at 37 degrees for 24 hours. Use the electricity-free incubator with its very special black plates. As a first step, these plates must be activated. Activated means that all the substance inside the plates is liquefied at a temperature above 37 degrees. This happens either by sunlight Simply place them into the sun for about 20 minutes. Or by 4 liters of hot water hotter than 80 degrees. Place them inside the waterproof bag, add hot water and wait for 10 minutes. Or by the heating mat that you can connect to a car battery, a laptop or a power bank. This takes about 90 minutes. Note that if the plates have a felt temperature of more than 40 degrees after activation, for example because you have left them in the sun for too long, cool them down again to a temperature of 38 to 40 degrees before continuing. Now place the plates flat side up in the incubator and slide the petri dishes top side down into the incubator at the very top. Then place the temperature sensor nearby, close and keep the incubator in horizontal position. The incubator will keep the temperature stable at exactly 37 degrees for 24 hours, without any electricity. The temperature inside the incubator can be monitored and recorded with the Engbird app. Another advantage of the incubator is that it can even cool down to 37 degrees when the outside temperature is higher. Simply add non-activated black plates with a solid substance inside. These will absorb any heat above 37 degrees.
After 24 hours, the incubator is still at 37 degrees. Open it and take out the plates. If you have used the EC or ECO plate and the water sample was contaminated, then you will now see blue colonies for the fecal indicator bacterium E. coli. These blue colonies should be counted regardless of their size. If more than 200 colonies are present, the result is noted as too numerous to count, T and TC. Record the result using the waterproof pen and the rewritable practical manual. If you have used the EC plate, then you will also see some pink colonies of so-called other coliform bacteria. These can be of fecal origin but can also come from the environment, especially in tropical regions. They are therefore not an accurate indicator. For tropical regions in remote areas and where resources are limited, the World Health Organization suggests testing only for E. coli. It is an accurate and sufficient indicator of a fecal contamination. You may therefore ignore the pink colonies. With the BACT lab application, you have the option to count the plates automatically using your mobile phone camera. Remember that your field and laboratory control blanks should give zero. Keep the plates always closed as the bacteria can be harmful to health. And make sure to sterilize all biohazard waste before disposal. This means autoclaving and or incinerating the plates to kill all bacteria grown on them. If this is not possible, use household bleach which will render them low risk. Wear gloves and prepare a bleach solution of a ratio of three parts water and one part bleach. Open the dish and add one milliliter, then reclose. It is the most important test in water analysis everywhere in the world. If you find fecal indicator bacteria in water, then somewhere fecal matter has entered that water. And then the risk is very high that other dangerous disease-causing bacteria have entered that water too.